All right, what's happening, plebs? We're out here with a little discussion thing, talking about the new rules, the link summoning, the future of the format, and stuff like that. Um, I got with me today uh, Mr. Noah Green from the Car Chaps, our uh, recent uh, runner-up at YCS Seattle, and we've also got uh, Joshua Schmidt here, the CCG Senpai. So good to have you guys here. Um, mm -hmm. We're just gonna jump straight in and talk about. First of all, just as an introduction to the link summoning thing, what did you uh, guys think about it? So the new summoning mechanic, how, how did that, what's your first impressions? Uh, Noah, if you want to go first. Um, it seemed neat. I think uh, change is always good, at least uh, in some form or fashion. Um, uh, I don't think uh, I can form like a super educated opinion on it because I haven't like really looked uh, into it too far, obviously, because it's uh, a long way away. But I think uh, any sort of major change like that will have a positive impact. You know, like all the, the basic mechanics and stuff, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do know the mechanics of it. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, like, one thing people say is, like, oh, that slows down the format and stuff. Like, do you think, so So you think that's just a good thing, I guess? Like, just a better change and stuff? Um, uh... I know a bunch of people say it's going to slow down the format, but I I'm sure uh, if that happens, it'll be, like, mo momentarily, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure as soon as the mechanic, like, picks up, uh, I think it will be just as fast, if not faster, uh, than they are now. Uh, and they might not be so much that the game itself slows down, but just that the fast decks that are available right now uh, won't be as fast post-league summoning. Mm. But uh, I I'm sure as soon as the mechanic starts picking up, everything will be back to how it is now. Yeah. Uh, Josh, what were your first impressions when they dropped that bomb on us? Well, it was. It seems like a pretty huge change. Not, not, not the mechanic itself, but like the rule changes afterwards. Like, I saw the the links, link monsters first, and I was like, okay, that's interesting. But then the, the rule changes are what, like, what's like really going to impact the game. Like with the one and I think, deck monster only and stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly that. Like, not, not, not just how you summon link monsters and stuff, because I think uh, what makes Link Monsters interesting and viable is that they give you more extra deck slots, right? It's like, mm -hmm. because of the, the rule changes, that's what makes Link Monsters interesting. Um, but it's like, uh, depending on how strong they're going to be and how viable they're going to be, if they're really going to slow down the game, like if you can pump out Link Monsters like it's nothing, then of course you're going to end up with still having three or four extra deck zones every game anyway, so... Yeah, I mean, it could start out quite slow, where you just have like maybe one or two, and then like, you know, you know how power creep is, boys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just look yeah. at the first X Y Zs and look at what we have now. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially like the pendulum decks. Like it was just Clifford for so long, and then I think as soon as like uh, the luster pendulum decks started getting popular, like you could just see that mechanic like completely change. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, Pendulum started out with, like, Time Gazer and Stargazer. That was, that was, like, the best support. And then, yeah, sh things just got a bit crazy early 2015. Or 16, was it? Yeah, 16. So, yeah, um, big change and stuff. And obviously, you kind of touched on it a bit, but, like, the rule change with, like, the extra deck monster slots and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, are you, are you happy with it? Are you like, you know, do you think like, oh, this could suck, or do you, are you, you know, sort of like um, just like like many people are saying it like kind of ruins certain decks and certain kind of ruins the game with it, but I, I don't really mind it too much. I think it's just like I don't really care if they if they kill decks that exist now, kill mechanics that exist now. All I care about really is does the better player win more often than not. Or the, the, does he have a high, high, high win rate over a, a worse player? And I, I think Link Summoning doesn't really hurt that at all. Like, the yeah. new rules don't really yeah, I, th I think the only, like, negative impact that can come out of it is, uh, at first, like, the playable decks for the first few months the mechanics out, because of the rule changes, might not be as good as the ones that we have now. But I'm yeah. sure, like, after a few months, the decks will become just as, uh, just as good. Yeah. And then, then we have to see if the format is like more skillful or less skillful than it is now. Could be both. Yeah. You guys, I mean, obviously, you guys are like, you know, competitive players. So as far as you guys are concerned, yeah. it's like, well, you know, as long as like, 
it's not like a Saki format as long as I can play and like you know have a deck building advantage and I get rewarded yeah. for my play my creativity then it's cool regardless of what the manic mechanic is um, and yeah. yeah. what do you guys think like do you do you think it's like a positive thing regardless even for like more casual players who just sort of like you know play like decks that aren't super great but you know they rely on lots of extra deck monsters but now they're gonna feel like they're sort of forced to like get involved with this new mechanic because it's not like Xyz for example because it's like when that came out it's just like well okay I'm just not gonna summon an Xyz monster but now it's like oh well I, I can't yeah, have more than one extra yeah, deck monster yeah I could uh, I could imagine uh, casual players not being uh, too happy at first especially people who uh, who get back into the game after taking a hiatus but um, I don't think that it'll have like a detrimental impact I guess on the player base yeah yeah I mean most casuals don't really expect to do well against meta decks anyways right or like you can't really expect if you take a break for two or three years and you come back with your very old deck to like it, it doesn't even function even if there's no rule changes right most of the time not with that attitude Josh <laughs> yeah <right>. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, the other huge change that we got with the link summoning thing was uh, the pendulum scale change. So, uh, not only are pendulum scales just not going to be in the game anymore, they're uh, considered back row now. And moreover, um, you can't summon into your main monster zone unless it's a link zone from your extra deck, at least. So, you can pendulum out to your hand. Uh, but now, for example, you can't go like Metal Foes, pop a scale, Metal Foes, pop a scale, Metal Foes, pop a scale, and then summon them back out. Now it's like you need them to come into Link Zones. So that's a ma Because that was one of the advantages of like Pendulum was like you could fill up your scale with like Wisdom Eye back in the day and then like Luster. That, that was Pendulums. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like that that's completely like you can you just can't do that anymore. You know, so that 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 cripples it um, a lot. Like how, so, you know, how how do you feel about that change? Um, I don't know. I have a. I think the only like pendulum deck I ever really really liked was Metal Foe, but uh, I don't know. I'm not like very like, I guess attached to like decks that I played. So I I don't like mind that pendulum decks aren't going to be as good. Um, uh, I guess it, I think it's weird that they would like, pretty much like ruin a uh, mechanic that's as popular as as pendulum is. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as like how it, it affects me, uh, I'm not. I don't really care too much. Yeah, uh, Josh, your uh, mm -hmm. deck from Euros, the Odd Eyes Performer Pal list, sort of like shaped a lot of the format going forward and stuff. And you're pretty well known for that deck. And uh, obviously, that's something that's pretty close to you because you worked like super hard on that deck, and um, you know you did really well as well. Um, do you feel like a little bit upset about the new changes? No, not that much. I, li I like the back row change a lot because it kills like Cleaford stuff, the mice shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was that, is, that, that was my yeah. that was my initial thought on it before before it was even clear if you could if if pendulum monsters had to go in the extra deck zones when they're summoned from extra deck. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, okay, this the the back row change because the back row change doesn't really hurt any quote unquote good pendulum decks, right? Like, yeah, the only uh, yeah. thing it could like possibly like, affect is like a perfect metal foe hand. Yeah, yeah, but, but like Clee Force and stuff, I don't really consider that yeah. like a, a real pendulum deck or good oh, deck. Yeah, or anything. Yeah. It's like so mean, Josh. Just got some average <laughs> Clifford players out there, you know, big fans of the deck. Yeah, sure. Um, one other um, thing as well that was really big um, was to 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 make a link monster, you need to send the materials to the graveyard. Now, we still haven't had clarification, but there is a possibility that Pendulum Monsters don't make Link Monsters. Um, I think they do, because like, you can make Synchros with them, right? Uh, I think it's kind of similar. I think the Synchros... I don't know. So, I mean, if we assume, like, best case scenario, that you can Pendulum... Uh, you can make Pendulums into a Link Monster, um, that's kind of yeah. cool, because like, you can... So you make a link monster that points to two new zones, and then you can pendulum back. So that's like yeah, pretty yeah. strong. Um, so I mean, that, I, I think that will create like you know some some cool like interactions and stuff. 
And um, but if it comes to the point where like you know pendulums actually need to go to the graveyard and because they can't, well, you can't link someone yes. with them. Um, do you think the mechanic will basically just die? Well, I, I don't think that's the question that's going to decide whether pendulum dies or not. It's like mm, yeah. I don't mind. I don't mind them balancing pendulum. By the way, I think the, the mechanic was highly imbalanced. Um. Because it's just like it's just a weird mechanic, right? It just like he heavily forces you to overcommit because you always have to pendulum summon everything at once, um, and you have like cards like Fragrance and Strike, which have to be in the game because otherwise pendulums are just gonna be completely busted. But they don't allow much of like skill to exist in pendulum games because either they have the Strike or the Fragrance or they don't. Um, I think pendulum like, mirrors were really skillful. Well, yeah, but they didn't play fragrance, did they? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean that that just uh, that kind of brings up a whole other topic of fucking floodgates, whether or not they're okay. Yeah, but like the the pendulum mechanic itself was not very balanced, right? Because like you just if you have scales, you can do everything you want. If you don't have scales, you can't do anything. For example, yeah. Um, if they have strike, they kill your entire turn. If they don't have strike, you can summon five monsters. This is like the whole thing is just not that great for the game, I think. Did you guys like um, like first when they first came out? Like as a mechanic, like first. conceptually, like did you think it was like it was going to be sort of like a good thing? Because it, it, you know, like a lot of people say, well, you know, people complain about soul charge, and yet here they are designing a mechanic that's literally a once per turn soul charge, and a lot of people thought, well, that's just fucking stupid. Like that shouldn't be a thing. Well, I, I, it's always hard to say what a mechanic is going to be like when it comes out because usually the the stuff that comes out in the beginning is just like really weak and just to get people into learning the new stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Clifford's for a year before <laughs> yeah, it's anything like, else. Yeah, you have like Clifford's for pendulums, you have like Leviathan for, for XYZs and stuff like that, like really simple stuff and then the real stuff that you can do with the mechanic is coming out later, so I don't I don't know what I thought when when pendulums came out. Like they weren't really relevant for the most part, because like Cleefords didn't even really pendulum that much. They were just like search with scout every turn and do stuff that way. Yeah. Uh, no, what did you think of the? Uh, oh, uh, what do you think of? Um, you know, pendulums post link. Like, do you do you think like? Um, you know, assuming best case scenario, like, do you think they'll still be like yeah. kind of like good for the game that way, or do you think it'll still be like pretty busted? Um, I mean, it's you know, yeah. Kind of... I mean, it'll it'll definitely be like more uh, fair. Uh, uh, it's hard to say whether it'll be too fair uh, or not. But um, yeah, uh, the other thing you you said earlier, talking about how uh, pendulums like can't go uh, to grave to fulfill the link summon. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think like that would be. Like what decides whether or not pendulums are playable, right? Because it's like rare that you'll have like two pendulum monsters in the field before your pendulum summon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if if you were doing your links in a pendulum deck, it could likely be with like uh, Goku tokens. And then if you have two pendulum monsters in the field, it's probably because you've already pendulum summoned. And at that point, the only time like having the link zones to summon back from the extra deck is relevant is if those monsters are things like Pinsort that get effects when they're special summoned. So I don't think that Pendulum Monsters being able to like fulfill the requirements to summon the Link Monster uh, it would really affect uh, how relevant Pendulums are after yeah. the new mechanics are in place. Yeah. So uh, next kind of uh, thing to bring up, um, how do you guys feel about monster zones being relevant now? So like it, where you place your monster on your map is a big deal now. Josh, if you want to go first. Uh, like, generally, I don't like the idea of it just because everyone is just not used to paying attention to that because it never mattered. Mm -hmm. I, I, I still remember when, when they were trying to make us place our grave above our deck. Uh, but before Pendulum Scales were released, they basically... At, I remember YCS Paris where... They, they, they told the judges to force everyone to do it like that just so we wouldn't be confused when pendulum skates came out because they, like, I don't know. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the scale thing was like, because like, people were like getting it mixed up with monster zones and all that stuff, so. 
Yeah, exactly. They, they also tried to like bring everything in order where everyone had to have his graveyard above his deck and stuff. And I just I could never get used to it. Like every round, I would uh, I would do it the wrong way around, and then there would always be a judge coming up to me and saying, "You have to switch out like, because like who who puts his deck above his grave uh, under his graveyard?" So mm-hmm. Um, and they kind of give they get they kind of gave up on that. Like they don't care anymore. Um. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be the same with links though it's just I, I feel like maybe by when 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 the stuff comes out it, it's more going to be like okay well i have this pendulum this this link monster and it's going to give one zone to you and one and two zones to me so we're just gonna assume like it, it doesn't really matter where you where you put those two extra deck monsters right does it um as in the first extra deck monster no, afterwards. Like, I think long... I think I think there are like arrows on the cards pointing to where you yeah, put them, yeah, but then yeah, it's yeah. just simple enough yeah, just yeah. putting them next to the arrows. So yeah, Noah, what did you think about like the placement being like now a thing? Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, I, I thought it was like neat. I guess my only concern is like that there'd be some way uh, for people to like take advantage of it. Um, as far as like. Um, I, I guess like sharking, like obviously if if it is like something like that, it's it's your responsibility to not uh to not place your cards in the wrong area. But I, I don't like want a mechanic that like inherently promotes, I guess, that sort of uh, like hostility. I mean, as long as it doesn't like get too confusing or anything, I don't mind having to pay attention to it because it's get, it yeah. just gets another layer of skill into it, right? It's like it yeah, just, I don't mind that, but. Uh, it shouldn't get like too confusing or too important. I, I feel like because that makes it like weird when people be like, "Oh no, you put that in in that zone." No, it's in this zone. It's like, yeah, yeah that's that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One thing but, that I um I wanted to bring up next was uh, obviously the sharking thing. Um, people are obviously going to take advantage of that. Um, do you think that Konami will sort of enforce like a, you know? Uh, you have to play with a standardized uh, type of map now, for example, with clearly labeled monster zones and I don't know, like Konami endorsed in design maps now. I don't think they could um, do that. Like, yeah, they I don't really think they could do that so anyway. Yeah, maps yeah, especially that like, like spent a, yeah. money on where yeah, there are no and... like you can't even force someone to play on any play mat, right? It's like yeah, uh, and like all the regional maps that have ever been printed like haven't had monster zones yeah. at all, so. Well, then again, Konami here yeah, sleeves are, uh, they print them, but they're not legal for tournaments, so. Well, my hope for this kind of thing is that it's just going to be a little bit like if I have a link monster with an arrow pointing to my opponent and my opponent summons an extra deck monster, like, we just both assume that it's it, it has to be in that zone, right? And every other monster that he just summons is just not going to be in that zone. So. Yeah. But the thing is, like, without standardized mats that have zones on them, then do you not think that there will have to be like some sort of like, you know, like 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 there will be mix-ups and there will be problems if we don't. I mean, have... as as long as as long as you basically as long as you make clear which monster is linked to a link monster, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the rest of the monsters don't matter, right? As far as I'm aware, there's no card that interacts. With zones that are not pointed to by link monsters, so, like there's old cards, right? But like nothing that's going to be relevant, I think. Uh, yeah, nothing no. so far, uh, at least that I know of. Yeah, nothing yeah. particularly relevant. But one thing that um, could be relevant now, so it's like, so if you picture in your head like the five zones, and then you have like, for example, the one at the very top on your main extra deck zone, uh, pointing mm-hmm. bottom left and bottom right. So now it's um, if you're like extending your combo. So like let's say you summon another link zone and uh, another link monster into one of the link zones, mm-hmm. um, where you have like other main deck monsters is kind of relevant now because now other link yeah, monsters yeah. Can, they can start pointing left and right. So yeah. depending on where you put the previous monsters, you could you know yeah, you yeah, might I misplay and accidentally block up some of those zones, and then people yeah, would just be like, also, oh no no yeah. no, it's on the next zone, and you know you can imagine yeah. that happening. It could also like something simple as when you when you place cards in your main monster zones before summoning a link monster, mm-hmm. 
and then you like accidentally already take up one of the slots that is now in extra deck zone yeah so that was the next point I was going to talk about. Do you guys yeah. think that this uh, that sort of like kind of play will you know promote a lot of skill and stuff? Because now you're going to have to like plan ahead, like not just like your plays, obviously, and what you're playing. Yeah, yeah. If, if 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 it's going to be like that, then yeah, that's going to be a part of the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think sort of uh, if if you ever played like Hearthstone, I think that was a, a big yeah. thing with like the zoo decks. It was uh, a lot of people thought that deck was like very very simple, but then there were just a lot of like games that would come down to like where you position things previously uh, throughout the game. Mm-hmm. And it was always something that was like in the background. It was never like a major focus. But um, yeah. That that's how like I hope it'll it'll turn out is it promotes yeah. I guess like micro decisions that benefit the better player. Yeah, of course. It just seems like something that's hard to get used to. I feel like Yeah. Um how do you think the game will grow or you know potentially decline with this uh mechanic do you think you know we're gonna get a bit of a good reception and you know people will enjoy it and the game will get more popular and stuff or you know do you think we might see a bit of a negative effect noah um i guess it's, it's really hard to say uh like i said i'm sure once the mechanic uh has been on for a while uh everyone will be fine with it but most people greatly dislike change so i'm sure it'll be a lot of uh, negative reception at first regardless of what impact it has in the game yeah um another point that i want to go over was the uh the sort of um kind of it, it, it's obviously like way too early to tell and stuff but like assuming you know we sort of like have this a similar format to where we're at now um do you guys think like like let's say for example the the new rules came out like today um do you guys think that there might be like you know a new sort of best deck because you know we've we've i don't know if you guys have seen some of the combos that zoo does like it's still really good like even with the new new rules um but do you guys think there could be some viability with other decks like i don't know cosmo or something that's something that isn't highly reliant on the extra deck or we could see Miramels and stuff come back. Josh? Uh, I mean, I haven't thought about anything like that or tested anything. Well, now's your chance. Yeah. <laughs> there is. There are a couple of decks out there that wouldn't really mind that much. Like, for example, if you look at what Necros did back then, it wouldn't have cared at all, I think. Yeah. I can't remember of many scenarios where Necros would have cared because it was always yeah. one rank four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was like, oh, the only time it would ever come up is if like your dweller stuck from the previous turn. Yeah, yeah. But like stuff like that, like there's many decks that don't really need it. Like Mermail is an example that can definitely play with one XYZ. However, Bahama Chug is dead under the new rules, right? Unless you have a Link Monster. I would assume yeah. so. Because like the the Toad would also be summoned from extra deck, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be dead. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Cosmos could work, but Cosmos technically suck. Yeah. Usually. So. Um. Yeah. So, with the uh oh shit, I lost it. One sec. What'd you lose? <laughs> I have uh, my list of questions here. Ali. I think I oh. I've lost my train of thought. Fuck. What was I gonna ask next? Shit. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, just looking through the chat, I'll get some questions up. Um, yeah, so uh, one one of the other important factors of Link Monsters is uh, they can't go to defense. Uh, they can't be Book of Mund. Um, do you think that's uh, that will be kind of relevant and stuff? Because you know, some cards obviously become useless by uh, at that point, like Book of Mund and stuff. And um, do you think like you know link monster centric decks become a bit more powerful and stuff just because the fact that they don't have levels they not they're not like link mon- link numbers uh i mean i'm sure at some point in the mechanics lifetime there will be a link monster that's like a floodgate of sorts um link so eight God i guess, card I, guess shit. I guess the fact that it can't be booked will have to be relevant at some point in time yeah Yo, Josh, someone keeps asking me in chat what happened at Witzenhausen Regional. I dropped. (laughs) (laughs) 
That was a bad day. Bad day. And I beat Eugen though. <laughs> <laughs> what was he playing? Was he playing frogs? Zoo. Oh, was he playing no, zoo? He was playing zoo. I played him round one, then I lost round two and three. Well, good time. Then I got paired against the transgender in round four. <laughs> wow, this is a PG stream, Josh. <laughs> what? Is that not allowed? Is that a, a banned word? No, 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 it's fine. I know where you're going, though. <laughs> hmm? It's fine, it's fine. Most okay. important question, do we expect a Burning Abyss Link monster? <laughs> Oh, do, uh, do the Link monsters just kill the BAs? I didn't even uh, consider that. Yeah, I mean, like, you can't go, like, Dante Dante anymore and stuff. Oh, no, I meant, like, if you, like, use Graf and Seer to Link Summon, like, do the Burning Abyss monsters themselves just kill themselves? They would, right? Because the Link monster just, like, is a monster. It's considered an extra deck monster. There are different zones now. So it's the extra deck monster, and then now you have the main monster zone, that's called. So... I mean, obviously, we still need clarification and stuff, but I think logically, if they're considered separate zones, then, I mean, Burning Abyss Monster should still stay alive, I would think. No, I think Burning Abyss Monster stay as yeah, long as you I, control I, another monster that's not a BA. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure BA monsters will kill themselves. I mean, which is, I guess, like, funny. But I guess... <laughs> <laughs> funny. <laughs> but I guess BA wouldn't be too affected anyway, right? Because you just make Dante and then Beatrice... Well, but that's what it's been for like a year now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, one thing that, that's, that is very funny. One thing that someone pointed out: uh, you can't use pendulum monsters to make Zulkin. So, like, that could kind of relate maybe to Link monsters. Yeah, but like Zulkin specifically says yeah, on states the card that the cards have to go to the graveyard. It's a cost to send them to the graveyard, and we don't know if that's uh, the same right. thing. For yeah, that makes sense. It's like a cost. Okay. Yeah, it, it's uh, yeah the summoning requirement. Because I don't know if I don't know if mechanics necessarily have a cost. I don't know if it's considered a cost to, for example, send the monsters to Grey Forest and Cross Summon. Right, and I, yeah, and I think a lot of uh, the mechanics, like with pendulums, right? They just check to see like if they would go to Grave, and then they would go to the extra deck, like uh, with like with like things like macro, right? So I would assume if if it's like the game mechanic to send the cards to Grave, then it would work uh, yeah. the same way. I think it's going to work, but maybe maybe it's going to be otherwise. I don't know. Did you guys uh, read that card, Rescue Ferret? Uh, I like the art. I haven't uh, read the effect yet. I did. I did read it, but I forgot what it was. But I think it was decent. It's, it's like cat if you have link zones, right? And the effects negated. So it's a level four. Uh, you normal summon it uh, once per turn. Well, not once. It's actually not once per turn, but like you can shuffle this card you control into the deck. Special any number of monsters from your deck, with the total levels exactly six, uh, except Rescue Ferret, uh, to link monsters link zones on your field, but their effects are gonna get in destroyed in the end phase. So you need to already have an established link monster, and then you can basically summon out like two level threes from your deck. Is it is it capped out at two or can you summon more if you have more zones? Oh, well, you if you have more zones, yeah. But I think realistically, it'd be like two. But yeah, levels equal exactly six. So I mean, you could potentially summon out like six level ones or something if you have six link zones or something. Like, obviously not, but like you know, as long as it adds up to six. <laughs> so I think that the the thing that's important is the fact that like you need to already have linked zones. So realistically, like two, maybe three would be. How like do you how do you know what's realistic? You you don't know what's realistic. Well, based on what we've seen so far, like they yeah, all, well, who knows how crazy it could on, get? Yeah, based on what, based on the first X Y Zs, you yeah, man. Never thought, yeah, <laughs> man, you're uh, you're 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 really giving me much to work with here, Josh. I appreciate. It. Thank you. <laughs> no, I mean, what I'm saying is, we don't know yet how good and how easy it's going to be to spam out link monsters and so if you can easily get like three or four zones there's probably going to be some sick combos with with yeah. ferret right because at that point when you have three or four zones you can even get like stuff like bulb and stuff and synchro in these zones like you can get like bulb dandelion and spore or something yeah like quasar their ass plant linking that would be fun I haven't seen plants in a while I missed that deck so um, another point that I actually forgot to go over, um, you guys have seen the uh, decode talker monster, I would assume. So I guess I think it's basically the strongest link monster that 
so that we've had like um, previewed to us so far. Now, one thing that's interesting about um, co um, what's it called? Oh shit! I think we lost someone. Oh, there you are. You're back. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah. So uh, I was saying, um, uh, you guys have seen uh, Decode Talker, right? Uh, it's like uh, it points two to the bomb, and, and the other relevant thing is it has an arrow pointing up to your opponent. So basically. Um, it gives your opponent an extra deck monster zone as well, another extra deck monster zone. So they'll have two. Hypothetically, if you go first, you make Deco Talker, they get two extra deck monster zones now. So, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, what is the effect of the card itself? Because, I mean, off the bat, that doesn't sound very good. Um, I think it's like uh, D um, it can be targeted. Uh, let me have a read. So it gains 500 for each monster in its link zone. Uh, during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card you control, uh, tribute one of your linked monsters and you can negate uh, the activation and destroy it. So it's, um, yeah, I guess it's it, it just protects your link uh, zone monsters from targeting. So if they like try Dryden something, then you can just tribute and destroy it, hypothetically. So not like the strongest effect, but the relevant thing is the arrow yeah. now pointing up to your opponent's zone. Um, what do you th what, what do you think about that? Like you're now giving your I mean, Decode Talker is just the only example we have to go by. But you know, let's yeah, say you can yeah, make yeah. like a really good monster, but the drawback is that now your opponent gets an extra uh, monster, um, extra extra deck monster. Yeah, um, I guess off the bat that doesn't sound very good, but I'm sure it's just like uh, when the Pendulums came out and like. The scales were awkward. The effects were bad. They're like unsearchable. Like I I'm sure when like new uh, Link monsters come out, that uh, that they'll be a lot better. But that one doesn't sound too great, unless I'm just missing something, which is likely. No, it's not great. But like where I'm going with it is like if you can imagine, let's say you know you can spam out like lots of Link mm -hmm. monsters and stuff like that. Um, oh shit, Josh was disconnected. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, the, the, the idea is like, you know, let's say you go first, you make like lots of link monsters, but now you're giving your opponent extra deck monster zones. So it sort of makes going second not shit. Hey, we back. What's up? So yeah, Josh, TLDR, uh, link monsters now give your opponent link zones and stuff. It makes going second um, not terrible. How do you think about that? It's possible, yeah. Yeah. It, it would be a good thing if that happens, because I think it's been a little unbalanced in the last couple of formats. Yeah. So it's 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 cool that they're trying to like you know offer this sort of like you know you can go first and do like really cool things, but like your opponent's now going to be able to like um, play really well as well. Like this, they're going to have access to extra link zones and stuff. Do you think that's like a a good sort of concept? Yeah, but then, once again. Well, yeah, but it's also going to depend on how it's going to play out because, like, can you really build a deck that can consistently go off with Link Monsters first turn? Is that really going to be a thing? And if so, um, how much will you build your deck to rely on getting Link Zones from your opponent? Because at that point, the strategy might just be better to just not put up Link Monsters turn one. Stuff like that, but yeah, it's interesting. So yeah, I mean, do you, do you think that like promotes a lot of like skill and decision making, Noah? Um, I don't know about uh, a lot uh, of skill and decision making, but like like Josh said, like I guess sometimes you just have to recognize whether it's worth it for you to get the two extra deck zones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I just think it's it's pretty cool. I, I do like the idea, like you know, um, you can go first and. Um, do some stuff, but there's, there's, there's like a drawback, you know, it's uh, a lot of complaints, like e even this format a little bit, like if you go first, like it can be like really, really over overwhelmingly strong. Um, it is super hard to just fight through, you know, even with something like a board wipe and shit, like you can still get like my body and striked and debarriered and yeah, like, like... Yeah, yeah, the, the, the question, the question there is basically how, how much emphasis on the extra deck is still going to be there in the link format because like link the link mechanic does definitely hurt the extra deck stuff a lot so are you even trying to 
still spam out extra deck stuff on your first turn, is that even going to be realistic or a good strategy? You know, like because mm -hmm. if I can't, if I'm if I'm making my deck in a way that I'm trying to I can't set up a link monster, then my deck suddenly kind of shit, right? Mm -hmm. So so maybe it's better to just not play on the extra deck at all. You know, maybe you're going to see a couple of decks in in the format that just don't really rely on the extra deck. One thing that's like um, kind of interesting is uh, when do you guys remember the last time where you blind second like other than Necros format? Like, uh, when the it was like the Pendulum Magician structure deck uh, before. Yeah. Well, I think most people pick second in that format. Yeah. Was that with the Wisdom Eyes and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because that deck didn't have many traps or protection at all. Yeah, but it's like I, if you, yeah, it, it, until uh, I think most people started playing uh, Palomaro and that beast, the deck really didn't do anything going first or very little. Mm -hmm. It, it didn't make unbreakable boards. I, I or Apex say. and Kirin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Made, like giant hand. <laughs> yeah, it was it was like Feral Imps Omega pass. I can um. I'm tr I'm trying to think like off the top of my head like what formats you know people would just blind second and there's really not many. Yeah, well, but that's also mainly because we had six cards up until yeah. 2014, I think. So yeah. there was not that much of a reason. It's like mm -hmm. as soon as they implemented that five card rule, there were a couple of formats where you could consider it. Yeah. Since when was the first format we had five cards? I think the first time uh, it, it, it was. I, I think, think it was World, like. Uh, Worlds. I, I think it was right after Worlds 2014, right? I think they drew six at World. So it was like. Right when people started. I think right when the Draw 5 rule was implemented, I think a lot of people played uh, Infernity until Duelist Alliance came out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but like up until that point, you would usually always go first. It was yeah. very rare that you would go second because you'd have six cards going first. And then after after that rule change, which is like late 2014, you know, which is only like two, two formats where you would go second, I think, Necros and Pendulum Magician. Mm -hmm. Which is not even that few, considering it's not been that long. Yep. All right, um, I think that about, about sums up our little discussion here. We didn't want to make it too long. Um, if anyone in the stream chat just wants to like throw out a couple of questions or anything like that, feel free. Um, I think we asked that a little bit later than got sidetracked. But yeah, if you got any like random things you want to throw out, go ahead. Um, but yeah, like generic final thoughts. Anything that you want to mention again or touch on? We all good. But yeah, uh, nothing new. Excited for it? Give me back sure it. Bring <laughs> back sure it, and then I'm excited for it. Yeah, I want sure it. Oh my god, I'm pretty excited for it. It's, uh, it's, it's good to see it. A bit of a change. Change is good. You want sure it? How do you dare? Your internet sucks, Josh. You played C8. <laughs> You're like cutting out a lot. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, he said, "How could I ask for shrit when I played BA?" <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Lots like me. Necros was the only like, you know, arguably one of the best decks ever, and it just never like won any major event in that format. <laughs> oh, it won! It won most of them, right? Until uh, yeah. it didn't. It didn't win the big ones, you know. Yeah. And not, it didn't won. Any, it didn't win any of the <laughs> WCQs. Uh, I think I think that's just like a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> Said the guy who played the BA mirror match <laughs> in the final oh. of nationals. It happens. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna end this uh, YouTube uh, section here. Uh, we'll probably stream a little bit more and just like chill for a bit. So yeah, thanks uh, for watching, guys. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and stuff. And see you next time.